Buckle up. You're now riding. 2K Pump. Now we're going for collection set reward. Ruby, Sean, Michaels. Smash that subscribe button because I am the WWE 2K Undisputed Universal Pack Champion, Intercontinental Pack Champion, and People's Pack Champion. 2K Punisher! Let's go. So here we're going to get Ruby, Drew, McIntyre. Now we just missing one card. For collection set record. Ruby, Shawn Michaels. The Heartbreak Kid. Let's put up the Heartbreak Kid. Right over here. So we can get him to come out in these packs. Just missing one card. Emerald Nikita Lions. Can we pull it off? Come on, 2K. You see a stand like a B on level 2 with a pain train. Second one on level 1. Payback's going to be rage. Good looking Drew McIntyre card. Not now you're going to take online, but nonetheless, be fun to play with. Next pack. Can we get Emerald Nikita Lions? Let's go. Let's go. So now we lock in. For collection set reward, Ruby, Sean, Michaels, and still feeding these 2K pack odds. Let's go. So now we have a ton of packs remaining in this 10 deluxe box. We're just gonna keep ripping. All we want now is gold card. Any gold superstars we could pull for Star Series 1, we'll take it. Because at the end of the day, those cards are going for about 18k plus. They might drop when the card market updates the price, but at the end of the day, they're very expensive right now. And we need to get our collector's level up. Here we're getting cosmetics. We'll take all cosmetics, managers, any superstars. Silver, bronze, or gold. We get nothing but a side plate in this pack. See some gold cards. Here we have another Nikita Lions. We'll take the 4500 for her. So we would have got her in this box regardless. Okay. Emerald Kurt Angle Manager. We'll take it. We get another. Sapphire shape. So let's address the elephant in the room. Some of my subscribers hit me up since there's someone out there claiming to be the greatest pack open of all time. The Kareem Abdul Jabbar pack open. So I did my research. It's you K1 Collector. K1 Collector, I'll rock with you. You're great, but you're not the greatest. So you want to compare collections? Let's compare collections. He promo cleared out. So providers promo cleared out. So what you want to do? And then you told one of my subscribers, Cruz, to do his homework. We're going to do some homework. Collect the level. Clearing it out. I don't go around bragging I'm the greatest WWE 2K My Faction content creator. An influencer and pack entertainer. Rival is ringside holds that title. He's the, the undisputed champion of that. I don't go around saying I'm the best ranked player. Pippin ain't easy is the undisputed ranked player. I don't go around saying I'm the best to drop the earliest news on you so you know what's going on WWE 2K, my faction. Jex Gaming is the undisputed champion of that. So you are here claiming a title that's not yours. You know that. So if you want the smoke, go on your account and let's compare. But speaking of last year, let's go into last year. And let's see. We're about to do some homework. So we're going to go to our collection set rewards from last year. First of all, let's do collector level. First content created to drop Pink Diamond John Cena. He's level 26. 
Bullfrog tried to claim this, said he thinks he's the first content creator that did it. I only had 100 subscribers at the time, I get it. But he said he thinks because he knew, he knows that 2K Pun was the first content creator to reach level 26 and bring you gameplay of this Pink Diamond John Cena to show you who's it worth it. Along with Pink Diamond EST Bianca Belair, Diamond Roman Reigns, Diamond Rhea Ripley, the Amethyst Cody Rhodes, and Amethyst Leader. We were the first channel to bring you these cards to show you if they were worth it. Collection set rewards. Now, on the top, the end game collection set rewards, that championship goes to Marcus Hamilton, where he tagged you and me in his post of all his posts on Endgame. He was killing it. Go ahead. Pink Diamond Omas. We got Diamond Andre the Giant. Diamond Brock Lesnar 03. And all these cards were pulled at the peak of their releases. Diamond Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? Diamond Drew McIntyre. Yeah, these are collection seven rewards, the hardest cards to pull. Let's see your collection on your account. Triple H the game, 1998, King of Kings. Diamond Randy Orton. I hear voices in my head. And they talk to me. Amethyst, Hollywood, Hogan, one of the hardest cards to pull as well. Speaking of the hardest cards to pull, the first collection set reward that was the hardest card to pull, Amethyst, Goldberg, all in my pack video openings, time stamped. We got Amethyst The Rock from Summer Heat. Amethyst The Undertaker, the best card art in the game last year, this year, any year. Now I know a lot of people got Amethyst Undertaker, a lot of content creators were able to pull him. They didn't make him too hard to get. But this Rock, he was hard to get, a lot of people didn't get him. So go on your account, show me what you got. If you want to say you're the greatest, let's see if you're the greatest. Amethyst Roman Reigns from Superstar Series 2, but there's like 200 billion cards in that set. We got Ruby AJ Styles at his peak when he was the top card to get. We got Ruby Mommy, Rhea Ripley. So the list goes on and on. So if you want to claim to be the greatest, Show us your collection of your account from last year. Let's go into live events. Let's see where you stand on your live event collection. Yeah, I missed out on a couple of cards because the timer ran out. I was too busy running around doing art, meeting wrestlers. I was meeting superstars and legends and creating art for them. So I didn't have time to be home to do these live events, but I did qualify. I missed out on China, but I did qualify for it. The timer just ran out. By the time I got home, there was nothing I could do. I didn't take my PlayStation on the road. It's Cora Jade. By the time Cora Jade dropped, I qualified for this Pink Diamond. But WWE 2K24 dropped, so I was making content on that. Already. So, show me your live events. Can you beat me in the live events? Can you beat me in collection set rewards? If, if you want to brag, if you want to say you're the greatest, you're the creator of Build Your Ball, prove it. Check out the live events. There's still live events going on. They should have been doing the running it back, but I'm glad they didn't run any cards back so people could really see where people stood. So people don't have to cap all the time. So go ahead. I challenge you to release your collection set reward, your live event cards that you were able to get. Guys, remember this Amethyst Shelton Benjamin? This is one of the best cards on the block. So is the Soul of Sokoa. And we were one of the first content creators also to bring you whether these cards were worth it. We told you they were to help you win faction wars and get my faction points so you could open packs and not have to spend real money. That's why you guys subscribe to this channel. So you could see if these cards were worth it. I wasn't pulling these cards for bragging rights. All these titles I hold, these are not titles against any content creator or any viewer or subscriber. They are against the 2K pack odds, the 4%, the 6%. That's what I'm talking about. These low odds. I'm talking to them. Bash King LA Knight. Let's go. I know you got this car. Cool. Show me your collection. On your account. And then we can see who's the greatest. But if we're talking about the greatest, you got to keep Marcus Hamilton in the mix. He was tagging you and me. Oh yeah, that's right. You didn't respond to most of his posts. You were probably hating. 
with Kid and Brack. But I wasn't hanging out, I was congratulating him because he was doing it at Endgame. It's Pink Diamond Bianca Belair, best card in the game, best Bianca Belair in the game. Pink Diamond Kevin Nash. The list goes on and on. Yeah, this Carmelo, bad animations, Endgame badges. Hyper, Endgame badges. See, all these cards drop. I qualify for this uh, Demon Finn Balor, Endgame badges. Qualify for all these cards. I just didn't even get them because at the time I already had cards that were pretty much that I wasn't going to use them because I had cards I was using that, that I was in love with. And we all knew that there were better versions of these cards out, except for the Endgame badge ones. So let's go. Y'all want the smoke? Y'all bring the smoke. Now y'all called me out. So now we are one card away from level 15 on my account. And we're going for this Amethyst Cosmetics pack. So far, there hasn't been no Amethyst Cosmetics packs. But if you get to level 15, this is what you're going to see. It's going to be a pack. It's not going to be a set cards that you're going to get. It's going to be random, but it's going to be any one of these cards. So it should be a five pack of any one of these cards. You know what I mean? I want my skull cosmetics. Any cosmetic with skull, we definitely want it. So we're going to go into this live event. I'm missing one card. And we still didn't get MO main event J Uso. So now it's time to grind. Draw kick into the nether realm. Get your punk ass out of here. Messing with the best card in the game. Amethyst Sheamus. Yes, this card is worth going for. Amethyst Sheamus is worth it. Because he has resiliency and also he goes in with going in hot. So you basically start with a signature, you hit your finisher, and when you get damage, when they attack you and you getting beat down your signature meter actually built so while they're beating you down you're building your signature meter once you get that opening you hit another signature guess what you'll get another finisher you hit that and your opponent's pretty much done one of the best cards to take online is amethyst shameless and here we get emmy emerald main event j so that should give us that one card we need and now we collect collected level 15 on our account let's go so now I'm gonna show you what this cosmetic, what this cosmetic, this amethyst cosmetic pack looks like. So it's gonna be five random cards out of what I showed you. What do we get? Okay, we get a book of tea. Can you dig that sucker? Is that a skull cosmetics? Too dark to see. It looks like a skull cosmetic, but I don't like it. We get the new day. We get a nameplate with some flowers. Not feeling it. But that's the first amethyst cosmetic pack we ripped first amethyst cosmetics we added to our collection and those five cards count towards our collector level so now we are closing in on diamond eo sky the first diamond of the game so now bull frog you want to race me to get diamond eo sky let's go let's go Everybody wants to be bragging. How they gonna reach the first collector level? How they gonna have the greatest pack opener? Everybody put your money where your mouth is. Let's go. Now it's on. So Pippin and Easy hit me up. He had a great idea. He said, since everyone's claiming to be the greatest, why you don't have a Monday Night Wars pack open? So I challenge you to a Monday Night Wars pack opening the next promo that's going to drop, which will be WrestleMania theme, it's not going to be facing 2K Punk. It's going to be facing heel 2K Punk. Since you like to brag for the WWE 2K Bragging Rights Pack Championship of the World. Buckle the fuck up! You got alive! You heal! Team! Hey! Punisher! They want the collector of Bullfrog! Get over here! I challenge you for your WWE TK Pack of Bragging Rights Championship of the World! 
in a triple threat Monday Night Wars pack opening at WrestleMania. The next promo that drops should be WrestleMania themed. All three of us will do pack opening. Bloodline rules. Open as many packs as you want. The one that opens and gets the best pulls and the collection set reward with the least amount of packs is declared the new WWE 2K pack bragging rights champion of the world. If you do not accept my challenge and you continue to brag in your videos, everyone will put a poop emoji in your comments. Because I am the final boss. Heal 2K Punisher! Finish him! <laughs>